Alrighty guys, I'm Orthodon, and we are back from My Hero Academia, episode 51. Uh, if you guys watched the last one just a few minutes ago, uh, that's the... That's the one that I just watched too, so, uh... Just finished with episode 50, now I'm watching 51. Uh, and... That being said, I did a lot of talking at the end of the video about my plans on what I'm gonna do with this time slot, this Wednesday time slot as we're approaching the end of the rewatch, getting into the reactions, and then getting into the movies and stuff like that. I talk about that whole plan, so you guys can go... If you didn't uh, watch the last video all the way to the end, you can skip towards the end and hear where I talk about that stuff, if you're interested at all. Uh, but for now, let's just hop right into this episode, shall we? And not waste too much time, I say, because I did a lot of talking in the last one. Alrighty guys, so we are going to start the episode in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now. Ah, yes. So, I think this is one that I probably could have skipped if I really wanted to speed along, but even though this is a rewatch, I don't like skipping episodes, so... Meh. You know? Do 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 <laughs> uh, I really like this intro, to be honest. I really like the song. The visuals are really cool, too. I like everything about it, to be honest. But there's something I do enjoy about all the uh, openings, to be honest, personally. Doo -doo. <laughs> now that I mentioned, uh, in the last episode, I mentioned that one of the songs in My Hero reminded me of... Uh, some of the songs that are in Made in Abyss, and now I'm really excited when I finish up recording tonight, I'm gonna go listen to the soundtrack while I play some games or something. Yeah, just a little bit of recap here. God. Must be so crazy to hear that from the symbol of peace, you know? Ah, I love the music in this show so much. I'm so excited to get back into rewatching, or sorry, not rewatching. Uh, God, I'm gonna be stuck saying that for a while now. Uh, I can't wait to get back into reacting to this show. Well, not back into it. I've never reacted to this show technically, but I'm really excited to. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Oh. So good. <laughs> P 
Poor All Might, just everyone calling him a skeleton. Poor guy. Aww. Ah. Uh, some more hero shots. Well, sort of hero shots. Some of them are goofy. But everyone heading to their dorms. Friggin' Mineta. He is <laughs> sitting in class. Is that fly getting my back? A three minute walk. It's too much walking. I just realized he said that. I was a little delayed on that. Moving into dorms. Ma'am. You never know who did it. I'm still not 100% sure there's a leak. Just because all it would take is some kind of, like, tracking quirk to find them. It's uh, it's pretty impressive that they managed to get everybody to say yes, though. It would have been kind of interesting if there were some that couldn't, you know. But I don't want to lose any of the kids, so. Because does not, if you refuse to move into the dorms, does that mean you can't be in UA anymore? I don't know. I don't remember how that was worded. Yeah. Yeah, the two people knocked out by the gas and then Bakugo because he was kidnapped. <laughs> Let's have some energy. <laughs> <laughs> Friggin' back ago. <laughs> yeah, used all his allowance on night vision goggles. And then he, uh, <laughs> he had Kaminari become stupid just to cheer everybody up. I still wonder what he did behind the bush to make him exert electricity. Did he whisper to him real fast, like, exert your electricity to cheer everyone up, and they did it? Or, I don't know.
<laughs> Freaking Minetta. <laughs> Freaking Minetta, god damn it. Such fun little music in the background. <laughs> Freaking Momo. <laughs> Freaking Uraka. I, lo I love her reactions to crap. That's all. Dismissed. I need to figure out what I'm going to do for food tonight. Shoot. God damn it. Why? I don't even know what that scene was for. <laughs> like, what the purpose of that was. <laughs> no, 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 wait! Hmm. I don't know... I thought I knew what otaku, uh, otaku means, but based on the way that the context is used it there, I'm actually not sure. <laughs> Revelry in the dark. <laughs> Get out! God damn it. <laughs> it's exactly as I thought it'd be. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they all just leave. I kind of want to know what his room was like. <laughs> Fair point. I like how they're still wearing Edith's glasses. <laughs> Everyone starting to compete. I mean, he's right that it wouldn't be much of a contest unless they showed everybody's. But we obviously know Mineta's doing it for pervy reasons. <laughs> uh, Bakugo's just asleep. Is this really alright? Sue likes jello. Sato likes cake. That's pretty obvious. I suppose it's good that he likes cake, considering his quirk. Imagine if he hated cake. That was like one of the best sources of sugar for him. <laughs> Freaking. Internal monologue. <laughs> God. Stop, Mineta, please. Going overboard this episode.
Manly. <laughs> the freaking sound effects in the background. Pretty cool. <laughs> like how they had to put the hearts there to try to give her some kind of emote. <laughs> <laughs> I worked hard. <laughs> I just realized... We've never really heard him talk a lot before, and I think I recognize his voice actor from something. I mean, I'm sure he's been in a lot of shows I've watched, but I don't know, like, what I'm remembering it from, I guess. Hmm. It's probably fine, right? <laughs> yeah. I feel like it'd be ridiculously fun to just, like, toy with, like, the earphones. Like, I'm always, like, a lot of times I'm sitting here, like, messing with my beard and I sometimes, like, Twirl it like a girl twirls her hair, you know? And Minetta, stop! <laughs> but I imagine it'd be fun just to, like, mess with those earphones. Kind of like how she was doing, just, like, tapping them together when she was nervous. Forbidden Garden. Hmm, yeah. I wanted to see her room really bad, too. I mean, I understand, like, you know, like I, like you guys know, I've seen this episode, so I know what's going on. But it would have been really cool to see her room. She's a rich girl, all right. So I wonder if she made that all that stuff in that room, or did she actually bring it from home? And how did she get that giant bed in that room, if that's the case? <laughs> Bribery. Is it over? Can I go to sleep now? Yeah. 
all the people that went that night. Kind of weird how she's just standing there on the side like that, though. Yeah, she does do that. I wonder if Sue... I'll, I'll try to say it uh, during the outro, actually. Because I want to read this bit again. Yeah. I don't see, I don't fully understand what, like, why Sue is so upset, like, feeling this way. Like, I know she just explained it, but I still, like, don't fully grasp it, but just seeing her sad makes me sad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. They needed this though. The the whole room thing like they said and uh Sue getting this off her chest and everything. It's sad, but it's good. And that's the end. Um, what I was gonna say during the episode was Sue's voice actor, uh, is she the same voice actor that does the, uh, uh, I can't remember her name, but she's from, uh, Little, is it Little Witch... Shoot, what's that anime called? I almost want to say Little Witch Academia, but that seems wrong because we're watching My Hero Academia. I don't know. Um, it's maybe I can find it real fast. Do 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 do. Phone loads so faster. Uh, Little Witch Anime. I think it's something like that, right? Yeah, Little Witch Academia. Okay, I was right. Is she the name of... Or is she the voice actor of, like, the... The really pale, purple-haired, like, weird girl that's obsessed with, like, poisons and stuff? If anybody's seen that. I don't know. They seem like the same voice actor, or at least a similar performance. But I'm ending the episode there, guys. Thank you. Or, wait, what am I saying? Uh, I'm not going to watch the preview, so... Yeah, that's where it ends. Episode 51. Boom! We are at the point where we are... It was four episodes next week, and then three episodes the following week. Which would mean... Seven episodes total away from being at the point where I last, uh, where I left off when I stopped watching. And then we'll have, not many, I think there's only, like, four or five more episodes after that that I'll be doing reactions to. And then I'll be doing the movies and any OVAs, although I think I might have seen all the OVAs, so I might end up skipping that. We'll see how we're doing on time. Maybe I'll watch those again, too, as just, like, a to fill the weeks as we're leading up to uh, season four. But yeah, 
like I said during the episode, they really needed this, uh, I think, as a, as a class and just as everything, just to kind of, like, get the pacing back to normal. Um, and I'm not talking about, like, the show's pacing, I'm just talking about their lives, you know? Uh, so just having this fun little contest after everything that happened is definitely just, like, a bit of levity in their lives and everything, you know? So, and it was really fun for us to watch. It was cool seeing, like, almost, like, the different personalities that they have by seeing their different rooms, you know? Even though we already know the characters pretty well, it's just really cool seeing, like, that reflected in their rooms and everything. So, I really loved this episode the first time watching, and it was still pretty good on the rewatch as well. Um... A lot of the jokes and stuff are pretty funny. Uh, obviously, I've never been a huge fan of all, like, the Mineta stuff. Mostly because I've never understood, like, the whole pervy stuff, you know? Um, in anime, you know, in fan service and everything. Even in live-action shows. Like, I've never been the biggest fan of, like, nudity and sex scenes and all of that stuff. It's just... The fucking bug flying around my head's annoying. I'm gonna try to kill it when we end this. Um, but all of those things, even in live action shows, I've never been, like, the biggest fan of, you know? Like, I don't know. It's never, like, interested me, you know? Just because, like, there's other outlets if I want to see nudity, you know? I don't need to see it in my TV shows as well. Friggin' bug. I think it, I don't know if it was just on my head or not. Uh, but it was flying by when I scratched my head. Now I just feel like I have bugs all over me, you know? Anyways, guys, I want to kill this freaking bugs. It's annoying the crap out of me. So, really good episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And I hope you join me when this uh, rewatch series turns into a reaction series as well. Or if maybe you watched my reaction series in, you know, talking to the future people. Um, and you came back to watch these reactions or these rewatches, I very much appreciate it, and, uh, and I hope you enjoy what I bring to the table as we go through these episodes, so, yeah, uh, there's ways you can support the channel if you're interested in that down in the, uh, description, there's links to my Patreon as well as my anime list and, uh, my Twitch stream, and then there's also, uh, subscribing to the YouTube channel if you're interested in that. Uh, it's free, one click away, very easy, and you get pop-ups when, or you should get, like, notifications as, like, whatever YouTube does. All that stuff. You guys know what it is. You don't need me to tell you. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next week for four more episodes. Bye, guys.